Today in music history, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the life and music of John Legend. Let's get started. John Legend was born John Rogers Stevens on December 28, 1978 in Springfield, Ohio. Growing up in Springfield, John, along with his three other siblings, were homeschooled by their mother. At the age of just four years old, John sang in the church choir, and at the age of seven years old, he began taking piano lessons. At 13, John entered North High School. Already accomplished musically, his teachers knew John was a quick learner and quite intelligent. And they were right. John ended up graduating the salutatorian of his senior class. Turning down entry to Harvard, Georgetown, and Morehouse universities, John finally decided to seek his college education at the University of Pennsylvania. While there, John served as the president and musical director of the co-ed jazz and pop a cappella group called Counterparts. John's version of Joan Osborne's One of Us received critical acclaim and was included on the 1998 Best of Collegiate a cappella compilation CD. And from there, the legends started to grow. Through a friend, John was introduced to pop jazz superstar Lauren Hill, who hired John to play piano on Everything is Everything from her debut solo record. Upon graduation, John took a day job as a business consultant and played solo gigs at night in the Philadelphia area. John's talent and charming personality caught on and he started to tour all the suburbs and cities around the Northeast. John also wrote, recorded, and produced two independent solo records that he would sell at his shows to help make ends meet. Making some noise in the industry and meeting other artists along the way, John was introduced by a friend to Kanye West. The two hit it off and Kanye hired John to sing the choruses on some of his earlier tracks. After those sessions, John was quickly signed to Kanye's label and changed his name from John Stevens to John Legend. Rumor has it that John was given the name Legend because his voice reminded folks of the old school R&B singers. John was reluctant at first to carry the Legend moniker, but he finally gave in after the nickname began to stick. In 2004, John's debut record, Get Lifted, is released and went on to sell close to a million copies and produced four hit singles. It also picked up a Grammy for the best R&B album in 2006. Nice way to kick off a career, but this is where things really get rolling. Now, hotter than ever, John started to work and collaborate with artists such as Sergio Mendez, Jay-Z, Mary J. Blige, The Black Eyed Peas, Fergie, and so many more. 2006 sees the release of John's second album, titled Once Again. The record reached number three on the Billboard charts and picked up another Grammy for the song Heaven. In October 2008, John releases his third studio album, Evolver. John came up with the title, letting his fans know that he will always try new things and experiment musically. In 2010, Legend teamed up with The Roots for a collaborative album full of songs titled Wake Up. And what do you think happened next? That's right, three more Grammys. John's fourth studio album, Love in the Future, is released in September 2013. It debuts at number four on the Billboard Top 200. The album was also nominated for Best R&B Album at the 2014 Grammy Awards. Legend's third single from the album, All of Me, became an international chart success and one of the best-selling digital singles of all time. The song is a ballad dedicated to his wife. In 2014, Legend paired with rapper Common to write the song Glory, featured in the film Selma. The song won the Golden Globe for Best Original Song, as well as the Academy Award for the Best Original Song. And that brings us to today. Out now, John just released his newest record titled Darkness and Light, featuring the single Love Me Now. 
That's it for this edition of Today in Music History. Thanks for joining us. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they know we're out there. Thanks again and we'll see you next time on the next Today in Music History.